True Life, I Started a Business, Phase 2. So I've been gone for a little while and I just wanted to come on and say hello and let you know what I've been up to. Um, year one has been fabulous, amazing, divine. I did all of the fun things that comes with starting the business, the things that us creatives love to do. I, you know, picked out the name and came up with the brand concept and thought, thought through, you know, the direction I wanted the company to go in, where I see it now, where I want it to be in the future. Um, was able to pick out all the colors and, you know, all of those creative things that comes with building um, something from nothing. I was also able to, in year one, land my first big client. And I've been able to work with, you know, global brands, household names. And I've done work in 19 cities across the, across the country and counting. So everything that I wanted to happen in year one happened. And so now it's phase two. And phase two is repeat and multiply. And I haven't done that part yet. <laughs> Still working on it. So I can't really speak on it yet. Because here on this channel, we only talk about what we know. Um, the focus that I'm taking in order to get there, in order to accomplish the repeat and multiply part, the phase two part, is strengthening the mind so the mind that's gonna be my ticket that's gonna be my tool that I use to do this because looking back all of my successes have been circumstances that have aligned in my favor and the outcome was always something that I had previously thought about, dreamed about, wanted. And so that piece of it is so intriguing to me and I believe that it is the key to changing my life. So I wrote down 20 reasons why I am successful right now just to boost my confidence. And sometimes you forget all of the amazing things that you do or you downplay them or you're just so stuck in the future that you just don't recognize it. And so that was a helpful activity. And the other thing that I'm doing to strengthen the mind is visualizing. So the next thing that I wanna do is just start going to open houses of, you know, million dollar properties or put myself in places that I don't necessarily feel comfortable in or that make me feel weird. And another thing, now that I'm talking about that uncomfortable point that brought me that brought something else to mind is that I'm living a nomadic lifestyle, so I just go from place to place and it's really this hustle vibe that I have. And I think that that is working for me A because it's allowed me to cut down on a lot of the mundane expenses like rent, utilities, internet, like all of those things that kind of bog down and eat up a, most of your money. Um, so I'm doing that. And it also just keeps me going. It makes me say, okay, well, this is not where I need to be, so I better do something about it. It just gives me that extra little push. Along with meditation, that also helps a lot, along with wealth affirmations, which I just pull off of YouTube and I'll just kind of close my eyes and visualize and do all those things. So long story short, this is my ticket. I'm going to use it and I'll let you know how that goes. And if you have any questions for me or are interested in any parts of my journey, just leave them in the comments and I will do a video about it. All right. Thank you guys. Peace. Yeah. <laughs>